to begin a short thought in the parsha. Parsha Bechukaisai, there's uh, an incredible pasik. The pasik says, if you follow me, says Hashem, then you're going to get all the brachas. And the question, which, you know, I don't want to call it a childish question, but sometimes we chalk it up in our mind as a childish question. And we might ask ourselves, I don't understand. I'm doing the right thing. I'm following Hashem. God, where's the bracha? So we could answer brachas, blessings, manifest themselves in many ways. There's brachas in health. There's blessings in wealth. There's blessings in sanity, emotional well-being. And therefore, in as much as one might ask, well, I want the bracha from Hashem in this way. So we can answer, you, you have to just look, you have the bracha, you have the blessing, and we don't have to look too far, maybe go look at what someone else is lacking and realize how grateful you should be. And that's a very simple answer. But to go one step deeper, because sometimes that doesn't suffice and we still feel, we still feel, but wait, I feel like, you know, I should be getting more. <clears throat> so there's Gemara and Tainis to explain very quickly that Rav Hanina ben Daisa had absolutely no money. And his wife, his wife was just, you know, she was at wit's end. She couldn't handle it anymore. And and he finally, she goes to her husband, Rav Hanina, and she asks him to daven. She asks him to daven <clears throat> that they should have some money. And one day he davens, and believe it or not, they get a golden leg of a table. And, excuse me, and now, golden leg of a table, she could sell it, and she'll have all the money. She won't have to worry about it. But that night, she has a dream. And in the dream, she sees that in the next world, what was waiting for her and her husband was a golden three-legged table. But now, that table only has two legs because she received one of the legs as reward in this world. And she understood that what are the three legs of the table? Taira, Avaida, and Gamilas Chasadim. And the Gemara famously says, <clears throat> Kol ha'ilam nizayn, the entire world is nourished. Bishvil chanina b'ni. The Rav Chanina ben Dais is incredible. Taira, Avaida, and Gamilas Chasadim supported the entire world. And of course, she says, I don't want it. I'd rather live in poverty. And I'll have my reward in the next world. But everyone wonders, Rav Hanina ben Daisa, I understand the Torah he did. I understand the Avayda he did. What chesed did he do? We don't know of any chesed organizations that he ran. We don't know of the t- any times that he necessarily went giving out tzedakah or things like that. So Rav Chaim Velazhin explains a very simple idea. Is that yes, he did chasadim. We have to realize that the way the world works is when I sit and learn, I'm affecting the entire world. And when you sit in Davin, your tefillah goes and makes sure that someone else in another part of the world will have what he needs. So in reality, did he do chasadim? Of course he did. Rav Hanina ben Daisa ensured that the poor people out in who knows where got food. How do you do that? Because he sat and he learned. Because he sat and he davened. We have to realize that when the Pasik says, if you follow my ways and say Hashem, that you'll get all the brachas, of course you will. Where does that mean that you'll get all the brachas? What it means is that you're supporting the entire world. And then whether you'll see the brachas physically in your bank account is a different question. But it's a totally different mindset that we have to realize. We sit and we learn for an hour. And we might ask ourselves, is there a point? We sit and we say to Hillem. And we might ask ourselves, but the hostages aren't freed yet. But this one's still sick. But this one still has a problem. We have to realize a very simple idea that it overflows throughout the entire world. And if we don't see it right in front of us, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. The three pillars that he supported. How? By sitting in his corner and doing what is right. So whether we could see it or not, firstly, realize maybe we have much more bracha than we're allowing ourselves to see. And secondly, let's realize 
that indeed there is bracha happening throughout the whole world because of us. And just like if someone were to take his credit card and swipe a million dollars on some campaign, he'd feel really good. Realize you're doing the same thing by sitting and learning for a few moments, by sitting and davening for a few moments, an extra capital of Tehillim. That is the greatest chesed you could be doing for the entire world.